What's up guys, Tim from Icon Motorsports here. I wanna walk you through the adjustment for your doors. When you just get this installed, eventually when the shock breaks in, you're gonna make minor adjustments to set the elevation of the back of the door going up or lower. So right now, Jaden with Icon Motorsports is gonna go ahead and walk you through that and show you exactly step-by-step -step how to make that adjustment. Uh, what's going on guys? So at first, we're gonna go ahead and start with a 316 Allen. A little right. Go ahead and pop the door out. You don't have to open it up, just go ahead and open it wide. You're gonna be looking for your entry point, which is gonna be this bolt right behind here on the left side of your Go ahead and take your piece. You're gonna get it in there. If you go clockwise, it's gonna go up. Counterclockwise, it's gonna go down. So you just go in there and you're gonna make minor adjustments. So if you go any, any bit too high, your door's gonna lift up a little bit. It's gonna be too hard to close. If you go too low, same problem. The other thing to pay attention to too is try it with your fingers too at first because when it's firstly when it, when you first need to do it. Generally, it hasn't been on there long enough, so you don't have the moisture lock on the, the nut itself. So you can sometimes get it with your fingers, but if you can't, then you'll use that small socket, or that small, you'll use the small ratchet if you can. And when you open the door, you just wanna make sure that when you're shutting it, you can go ahead and apply a little bit of pressure to make sure that when you do close it, it's still even. If you're pushing down and you do a little bit of catch, probably the door is a little bit too low. If you close it and it's clicking a little high and you don't feel too much of a bounce up top, it might be a little bit too high. So if it's a little bit too high, then all you're gonna do is you're gonna go back in there with the same wrench, same 316 ton wrench, and just back it out a little bit. Turn it back to the left a little bit. And it's tiny, tiny movements at a time. Not super big movements, not half turns, not quarter turns, it's less than that. It's like eighth inch at a time. And then just slowly kind of close it in, feel the alignment, and then that's it. Then your door is aligned. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. And that's how you go ahead and do the adjustments on your C8 door.